What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with another video and today we're going to take a look at Apple's latest version for the iPad which is iPad OS 15. They just unveiled iOS 15 at WWDC, watchOS 8, all that good stuff, tvOS, but today the iPad got some major refreshes, we have some new widget updates, a lot of nice quality of life features has been upgraded to the iPad and in this video we're just going to go over it and take a look at what's new. Without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so iPad OS 15, fresh new design, fresh everything. So let's just swipe up real quick into my password, boom, and there we go. So first thing you can see guys is that we have a whole new widget setup. So this widget setup is pretty simple. Um, basically we could now add widgets anywhere on the home screen, but the thing is we don't get to place them like it can just float, you know, it has, it, it has that alignment still. So for example, we want to move around this widget. You can see how you play around with them. You could stack widgets and all of that. And it's really cool that Apple now allows us to do this because you could come up with some really nice looking setups for your iPad. And as usual, if you want to add a widget, you just hold down, hit the plus sign over here, then scroll through the different widget applications you have. And for example, you want to add the share one, just drag it on here, boom, done. And that's it. How could I forget? You could also hide your home pages so you could get really creative with your home screen setup. So if you want to, you could just hide the second page. Boom, done, just like on iPhone. So now when you swipe over, you jump right to your app library. By the way, guys, this wallpaper is from my wallpaper pack, which I'll be dropping tomorrow. So make sure everybody stick around for that. It's gonna be insane. I'm gonna drop a ton, 10 really good looking wallpaper, so don't miss it. We also have the app library. So if we jump over onto here on the last page, you can see that the app library pops up and this was really missing. We only had that on iOS 14. So now we have it on iPadOS and it will be right down here as well. So you could tap it just from down there to jump in and out of apps quickly. And everything is already organized for you. So you have a social, your business, your finance. So basically any app you download, it will jump into this app library and you could go into the search mode and scroll down, search for all your different apps if you want to. So that's really nice to see as well. All right, so another feature we have which is kind of multitasking as well, it's called Quick Notes. So you could easily capture thoughts. For example, say we're in Safari on the Nike website, right? And we're just chilling, browsing through and like, oh, look at that nice shoes right there. You could just get your Apple Pencil. I'm not sure if you could swipe up from here. Yeah, you have to probably use the Apple Pencil. Just swipe up at the bottom right here and bring up that Quick Notes. So you could see, we could add a link, boom, the Nike website and just type in uh buy this shoes and then you have the link right there for the website so yeah boom that's it you could also highlight just from here when you finish you just press this button hit done it's gone back down there all right and speaking about multitasking we also have a new feature that allows us to have split screen mode like real split screen mode so normally on the ipad you'd have to swipe up then you'd have to like drag an app over to here blah blah, blah. now we don't really need an app in the dock you could easily just press these three icons on the top right here that will bring up this palette and you could go into split screen mode which is boom invoke split screen now i could grab any app i want to so let's go ahead and grab, hmm, let's grab Procreate. Boom, so now we have Procreate over on the left and we have Safari over here and we still have the Notes app down here. If you want to quickly go ahead and jot things, we could create new notes, add new links if we want to. So you can see how the multitasking is endless. This is real multitasking right here. I could go into artwork. I could still draw on this and everything and I still have Safari open on this side. So I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but Safari also got an overhaul. It looks cleaner, more minimalistic, minimalistic, and it's just an overall better experience. So even if you go onto like a website that has a blue, you can see the blue tab. In this latest Safari as well, you could also tab groups. And when you tab groups, boom, you can see new empty tab group, new tab from new group tab. So boom, you could just title this, say, summer because like this is the the website you, you need for summer or something like that and that will sync across all your different 
operating systems like macOS and the iPhone. So that's really cool to see as well. So another thing we have is Find Focus or the Focus app. It's not new in only the iPad, it's on the iPhone as well. But in the Focus app, you could come in here and create a new focus system based on what's most important to you. So if you're at work, you're at home, you'd get basically notifications based on what's more important at the time. So for example, if you're at work, you'd like want you'd want to set up um, a new focus for work. So you you don't want to get anything to deal with your probably your soccer or sports or anything like that. You just want to get notifications from your colleagues at work. You could go ahead and do that. So let's go into fitness for example. You can see. You have some basic default ones you could work with. So when you're at the gym, you could allow notification from, you know, the contacts that you want to. Diving into the focus features itself is like an, a whole nother video, so I won't jump too much into it. But you could even add your focus status. So if somebody um, is sending you a message that will let them know that, hey, you're, you're focused up right now. So if they're trying to send you a message through iMessage or something like that, it will say, hey, Siobhan's at work, do not disturb. So nobody could like annoy you. Another thing that's really cool in the latest updates for these softwares in iOS and also iPadOS is this live, like live text feature. So live text uses on-device intelligence to recognize text in a photo. So if I have this picture right here, you can see, let's see if we could pull it up. Boom, you just press this little button, you probably can't see it. But once you press that button, now you can see that we could highlight text on the screen and actually copy it into notes. So let's go ahead and highlight this. Could literally copy and we just bring up quick notes, paste, boom. We just literally took that from this picture right here, guys, as you guys can see. So you can see the Leon Lee streamer, all of that, literally grabbed it from a picture and pasted it into the notes. And that to me is just insane. And it also works with live pictures as well. So let me show you that example of that real quick. So quick demo guys, if we jump on over to the camera app real quick and we point it at any text, right? You can see this little document icon pop up at the bottom right here. You just click that little document icon. Boom. Boom. So now we could just easily go ahead and copy this, select all if we want to copy it as you guys can see copy and now we could just go ahead and paste this anywhere so if we just come up here we could go ahead and paste that boom literally just pasted everything so yeah that's the live text feature that apple brought and it's really nice guess what guys guess what iphone apps finally rotate on the ipad so if we jump on over to Instagram right here, you can see we have Instagram and it's rotated. We no longer have to turn around the app, you know, you can do that as well. But now, as you can see, if you have your, your um, tablet in landscape mode, boom, or your iPad in landscape mode, it rotates. That's nice to see that finally the iPhone apps, all the iPhone apps would automatically rotate. So there's a bunch of little small things in the software that I'm still not sure about yet. But this is just an overview showing you guys what's new because I know a lot of people are not going to be able to download this beta as yet. Another new app or feature that came to the iPad, which was on the iPhone, is Translate. And I don't know why they didn't have it before, but you can see we have Google Translate there. But the Apple one, the Siri Translate, is what's new here on the iPad. And with this one, it has new features that make conversations way more natural, way easier to get along with. So whenever someone is speaking Spanish, it auto detects it and it just translated to the language. So it's like a steady conversation. So let's see if this works. Hablas Espanol. Which language were you speaking? Spanish. You speak Spanish? Me amo Siobhan Salmon. I am washing. <laughs> May I wash on someone? Spanish. Oh, it, it actually got it. My name is Siobhan Salmon. Nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, muy, muy poquito español. Muy, muy poquito español. Si, sí, si. Sí. Si, sí, it translated to English. That's really nice. That's cool. So I was counting, then I said, 
very little Spanish, very little Spanish, and it just translated it. So if you're speaking to someone, and you, you, this is, I, lo I like this. I really like this. This is gonna go far. All right, guys, I'm not sure if this is exactly new, but now we could actually drag files over to like our email and stuff like that. So boom, swipe up, let's go into mail, and we could just place this in here, and it's supposed to be there, right? Yeah, importing one item. Boom, that's super clean. So let me know down below in the comments if you could always do this, but I can't recall me being able to do that on the iPad. So that's really nice to see that we could just drag files over from the files app. And the files app looks like it gotten a little bit of tweaks as well. Certain processes that you're doing when you're transferring stuff, it looks cleaner. It also has a progress bar. So, so yeah, this is the progress bar up here and you could actually see it, yeah, so little nice little progress bar showing you exactly what's going on another added benefit something you wouldn't even realize unless you're really digging deep looking for those changes all right thanks for making it to the end of today's video if you guys enjoyed that don't forget to smash the like button drop a like let's try to hit 500 likes on this video let's see if we could do it i'm not sure but yeah if you guys want me to keep updating beta um updates and every video like that just let me know down below in the comments and also let me know if you will be installing ipad os and your favorite features down below in the comments as well let me know what you think about wwdc it was kind of it was kind of disappointing but at the same time some really nice features came and you could see right here in living proof but yeah as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out